Enhancing Creativity in the Classroom, written by Bernice James, Rena Letterman Gerard, and Beat Vagat Torrey. PowerPoint by Casey Allen, Tracy Kell, Erica Wagner, and Amanda Wiley. Narrated by Tracy Kell. What is creativity? Is creativity a magical talent, sign of intelligence, or skill to learn? In this presentation, you will explore the concept of creativity and its implications for teaching and learning, including the concept of creativity, creative thought models, examples of creativity in the classroom, implications for teaching and learning, strategies for teaching towards creativity in the classroom. The concept of creativity. Definition. The production of both novel and appropriate work. Novel refers to original work, work that cannot be predicted. Appropriate simply concerns the usefulness of the product toward a certain need. Process-oriented models and system-oriented models are two approaches that focus on different facets of creativity. The very essence of creativity is novelty and hence we have no standards by which to judge it. Carl R. Rogers on Becoming a Person. Process-oriented models. Process-oriented definition concentrates on the cognitive aspects of creativity. What and how do creative people think? What are the thought structures during the creative process? Lubritz summarizes the research efforts on cognitive subprocesses that are seen as crucial to creative potential. Problem finding, formulation and redefinition, divergent thinking, synthesis and combination of information, idea combinations through random or chance-based processes. Process-oriented models continued. The Junipool model distinguishes between generative process and explorative processes during cognition. In the generative process, you construct a mental model of the problem space. In the exploratory process, you work through the possibilities revealed by the mental model to arrive at a creative solution to your problem. Systems-oriented models. System-oriented models take a broader approach to creativity that involves non-cognitive factors as well. Susan Mahali sees creativity as a result of an interaction between the producer and the audience. Important aspects of his model include the individual, the field, and the domain. Emma Bell sees the creative potential as based on three factors working together. One, domain relevant skills. Two, creative thinking skills. And three, motivation. Systems-oriented models continued. Sternberg and Lubert identified six resources that contribute to creativity. Intellectual processes, personality, motivation, knowledge, intellectual styles, environmental context. Sternberg and Lubert also identified three main dichotomies in thinking styles with the assumption that some styles are more conducive to creativity than others. Legislative, invent rules, versus executive, follow rules, conservative, old approaches versus liberal, new approaches, global, general aspects versus local, detail oriented. Mr. Davos Project. The setting takes place in an elementary school located in a small and rural country in West Africa. Many of the families have low cash flow, making their living off of agriculture. Mr. Davos, a teacher at the school, wants to increase enrollment but realizes that many families do not have the money to buy necessary school supplies. Mr. Dapper proposes that a barter system be in place for children to purchase school supplies. Villagers could trade agricultural products for school supplies for their children. With the help from a non-governmental organization, his idea was a success and Mr. Dapper's enrollment rates were better than ever before. Mr. Dapper's Creativity Internal rewards provide for more creativity than do external rewards. Because Mr. Dabo was internally motivated to improve the school attendance rate in his community, he had to be creative to be successful. Problem construction or redefinition helps shape creativity. Because Mr. Dabo chose to see the problem from a different point of view, he was able to redefine the characteristics of the problem. Domain relevant knowledge. One of the three components of Amabel's model of creativity uses experience for understanding and application of creativity. Project Cool. The objective of Project Cool was to encourage students to think about health, conscious eating in a creative and fun manner. 
constructivist approach. By having children create an ice cream recipe meeting specific dietary guidelines, students are engaged in learning through a hands-on, knowledge-building activity. Trial and error. Through trial and error, students were able to reflect on their mistakes, enabling them to construct meaning critically and analytically of their project. Enhancing creativity. Creativity is developed through intrinsic motivation. The six factors that influence intrinsic motivation are challenge, freedom, resources, work group features, supervisory encouragement, organizational support. These are reflected in Project Cool. Freedom. When people have autonomy over how they reach their goal, they will be more creative. To support students' autonomy, teachers can offer more choice in activities and provide support and feedback. Driver 2001. It may be argued that creativity is another form of problem solving. In Project Cool, the freedom to guide their own work allow the students to make discoveries and learn directly from their own experiences. Challenge, ZPD, Zone of Proximal Development, MKO, or Knowledgeable Other. The learner is benefited in his, her ZPD through the MKO. According to Sternberg and Lubert, the five attributes that inspire creativity are tolerance to ambiguity, perseverance, willingness to grow, openness to experience, willingness to take risks. These attributes are reflected as a challenge factor to create motivation for creativity in Project Cool. Resources. Environmental context is one of the six resources that can contribute to creativity. Environment can include political atmosphere, interpersonal relationships, physical space, and equipment and supplies available for a project. Time is the simplest resource and can be easily overlooked. Teachers should allow time to explore ideas, but not so much that the project becomes idle. In Project Cool, we do not know how much time was spent on the project or if the supplies were sufficient. The study did not mention any of this information. Work group features. Diversity in the team makeup will foster creativity. A diversity of people means a variety of expertise, creative thinking styles, and cognitive abilities. Other work group features that enhance creativity are excitement, commitment to making the project a team effort, and mutual respect for the team members, Emma Bill 1999. In Project Cool, mutual respect and commitment were evident as the students worked and learned together in order to obtain a common goal. Supervisory encouragement. Supervisory encouragement can take many forms, offering feedback, boosting a student's confidence, or providing structure. Creativity develops when teachers encourage curiosity, exploration, confidence, risk-taking, and balance. In Project Cool, the teacher as the MKO provided supervisory encouragement, including prompts to expand their ideas, information on technical and organizational skills, positive feedback to develop confidence, self-esteem, and self-motivation, helping to develop critical reflection and informed decision-making skills. Organizational support. The school, district, city, and or state must support the educational efforts at a more global level. Support can include mandating communication, creating new work environments, or passing a bill to support new funding. In Project Cool, this support is exemplified at the national level by the Creativity and Education Initiative under Learning Teaching Scotland. This initiative oversees the National Grid for Learning and is a governmental initiative focused on creativity. Conclusion. Everything that is really great and inspiring is created by the individual who can labor in freedom. Albert Einstein, Out of My Later Years, 1950. Creativity is the foundation of change and innovation. It is the solution of many problems. It is the responsibility of educators to foster creativity in our students. It is applicable to all settings, from the classroom to the universe. Creativity research could change how we look at schools and curriculum. Appendix A. Quick tips for enhancing creativity in the classroom. One. Provide in-class time for individuals and groups to think and let their ideas marinate. Two, reward creative ideas and products through public recognition, even if the ideas are still developing or perhaps fail. Three, 
encourage students to take unique and different approaches in their work and reward any efforts in this direction. Four, allow mistakes and model positive, supportive responses to mistakes. Encourage learning from their mistakes. Five, encourage mental flexibility, taking other viewpoints that they may not usually take. More tips for enhancing creativity. Six, explore the environment to stimulate curiosity about their world. Seven, question students' assumptions and guide them to dig deeper and consider their beliefs and others to expose students to new ideas. Eight, stop evaluating or judging too soon. There's a time and place when ideas of their constraints need to be considered, but not too soon or the process will flounder. Nine, foster cooperation rather than competition. Ten, offer choices. Eleven, encourage dissent and diversity. Twelve, regularly provide positive feedback. Appendix B is a bibliography.